Hello and welcome. If you're new here, we're Aramis and Emily, a UK-based couple with a love of the outdoors. We bought this Ford Transit panel van with the intention to convert it into our ultimate adventure van for our trips across the UK and abroad. And after 12 months of hard work on the weekends, we're really starting to get closer and closer to the finish line. If you missed last week's episode, we took Flossie to the new forest to test her out, as she just recently got back on the road. It wasn't the smoothest trip. There's no overnight parking is allowed in the car parks and wild camping is not permitted in the new forest. God damn it! But we had a great time and we did find a few things that needed to be addressed. It's time to get back to work and get this old girl done. Good morning. Good morning. It is the 1st of June. Not that you would know that because we're in jumpers, but it is the 1st of June and we have a few things to address. Last weekend we went to New Forest. The van isn't ready fully yet, so we thought we were going to take it out. See, do we need it changing anything or something's wrong or whatever? And of course, there was things. So, the first thing that we found. Oh, we need to close the door is the toilet lid or what's going to be the toilet lid when we were in the van last weekend and the door was shut because it was late i needed to get something from this area because obviously there's no toilet in there at the moment and we quickly discovered that when you try to lift the lid on the toilet it only goes to here because it's so flush against the sliding door that there is no room for this to lift up any further than that. So when you're desperate for the toilet in the middle of the night, you can only guess what might happen. Second thing, we end up locking ourselves in. Before we went to sleep, we decided that, okay, let's lock the van and make sure that everything locks and no one can get gets inside. Then we find out that there's a slight issue. There's this little it's like a catch when you turn this you can lock the sliding door so you can't open it from inside nor the outside what we've done we've done this we close the door and guess what we couldn't open it there's no access to the catch once the door is shut and locked from the inside we actually have quite a tough time to open the door because obviously you can't get to it Eventually we managed to open it somehow. So that's the second thing that we need to address. Third thing, during the drive at some point, we discovered that we have lost a screw in our slat. This slat is now hanging and there is no screw in it anymore. Very minor, but that needs looking at. And the fourth thing was that we really were struggling with all the cleaning up things. So today's main job is gonna be to fit the sink was manageable for a couple of days but we didn't realise oh no we knew didn't we straight away that a sink was going to be important but now we've tested it it's a must we got the sink we've got our 12 volt submergible pump and we've got a tap somewhere so today's main job was to fit the sink and do all the plumbing as we don't have that much space in the van we wanted to keep the kitchen worktop free so we chose to undermount the sink to save some working space. We started from building the frame that the sink would sit on and then the worktop will sit on the top of that. We spent so much time working on our worktop so it was really nerve wracking to think that we needed to cut a massive hole in it to fit the sink. If you could just um, send us your good vibes, that would be great. Once the hole was cut, we realised that we'd run out of wood stain, so I had to pop down to Wix to get some more. This. The Liberon Dark Oak Palette Wood Dye. Whilst I was out, Aramis started prepping the sink cover board and the hole that's been cut for the stain and varnish. So you need staining and coat of varnish, but that's how it would look. You have a sink when you're not using it. You just put the lid back on and you have a full countertop. And then we're going to fit this tap somewhere over here. Now I just need to run the wires for the tap. Once I got back, I stained and varnished the top of the worktop with the cover board and left it to dry. In the meantime, Arma started installing the tap. I said that I'm going to wire up a uh, tap, but got carried on with other jobs. 
before I wire the tap, I thought mm, I need to tidy up these wires. I just secure them to the wall. So once I got to that point, I remembered another issue that we had on the trip. Two issues. One, that the fridge uh, didn't have the switch. So basically it's either on or we have to pull the fuse out to switch it off. So I just installed the switch. And the second thing was that the cable, because of the messy cables behind the drawer, wasn't allowing to close the drawer fully. So after I tidy up everything, secured all the wires. So everything is nice now. That's done now. Yep, so once the top's dry and the little chopping boardy bit's dry, we can sort out plumbing. Well, Aramis might plumb the sink. And then my yeah. job, so obviously our bumper looks naff. And lots of people have said about shoe polish, which we would have tried. Yeah, like there's quite a few options. If you read on the internet, the most common would be use a torch. Blow Just, torch. Yeah, blow torch. <laughs> yeah. But this option, I read about it and people saying that it's, it's not gonna last. It lasts like three, four months and it's gonna look exactly the same how it was. So everyone is praising this thing. Forever black. So we thought we'd give it a try. It comes um, with this cute little spongy, spongy spatula for... <laughs> which I'm very excited to use. I very much enjoy a job that is quite an obvious before and after. I know a lot of the van is because it was just a work van and now it's not, but like looking at this and then looking at how it's going to look mm. after is exciting. She's going to look like brand new for transit. On to the time lapse. <laughs> Yeah, so wiring's done, foam is cut it, and the, the bumper looks fresh. It looks like brand new. So I would 100% recommend that Forever Black. Well, also with it, I was kind of going a bit easy on it because I didn't know how long it was going to last, obviously being a small bottle, but it goes quite a long way. And I've done all the bumpers, like the wing mirrors and all the little mud flaps and everything else. And I would say there's still probably about this much left in it it does go a long way so, it spreads really nicely and i did a couple of coats on the front and the back so yeah good stuff i would say 20 quid is well, well worth it. It. so, so we well, we're well pleased about that so tomorrow we're gonna come back fit the worktop wire up the pump and test everything out and fingers crossed everything is nice and good so i'll see you tomorrow the first job of the day was to remove all the drawers and refit the worktop, making sure the sink is sealed and leak-proof. We applied some sealant around the sink and then placed the worktop on. Then we just simply secured it with brackets from the bottom whilst making sure everything was aligned. Okay, so, sometimes needs must to ensure it doesn't move, all right? I did a stupid thing yesterday, and now I'm really annoyed. So yesterday, obviously, I stained and varnished like the inner rim of this and the little top piece um and then whilst i was there because i didn't want like an extra layer of varnish just around the edges here where i had to kind of go on the top i thought i'd just re-varnish the whole thing to make it even but forgot that you need to sand down the area first so when we came in this morning it was still really tacky it's literally like it's not adhered to the lower layer so now we're having to sand it all down again so that I can re-varnish it. So my bright idea yesterday turned into a massive fail today. So this kind of situation takes me back to when I was a child and I'd wet the bed and then I'd be standing there watching mum change the bed in. I've literally made a mistake and now I'm just standing there watching like, it's so annoying. It was looking really nice. Now it just needs looking at again and it's just, irritating. Once we prepped the worktop for varnish we decided to fit the tap. That meant that another hole had to be drilled out. So we got our tap in. We've got two wires positive negative. 
we got our positive negative from our consumer box and then we have two wires from the pump so a negative of pump needs to go to the negative of consumer box then a negative of tap needs to go to the positive of pump and then positive of the tap needs to go to the positive of consumer box so that should be working now fill up the bottle and test it time to test the tap our system is going to be very simple pump i go straight to the bottle our waste bottle we had this bottle so like very narrow so it would perfectly fit in there it's been damaged on delivery so so we need to source a new bottle so for now we're just going to use this And that's it, our, our plumbing system's done. Fuse is in. In theory then, we switch that on, it just comes out. You ready? Leaking. <laughs> Told you need, we need Jubilee clip, but... We need to put a jubilee clip or something on the connection on the, on the tap. As a general rule, yeah, but as a system, water came out quite nicely. Actually, that's a good, good flow. I thought it was going to be a bit like. Oh. We're not going to clamp it now because we need to take the tap off anyway to put the varnish. varnish. You know. well, yeah, the tap is working. Yay! Uh, so I'm thinking about starting boxing the overhead shelf. I was thinking to go and jump on the cupboards, but then I realized that we can't make cupboards until we have that this box in because then we're gonna have an issue to box this in if the, we're gonna build the cupboards. That's gonna be our next step. So, to cover the overhead shelf, we had to fit two wooden battens that we will fix the scribe pieces of plywood to. Once that was done, we were able to make sure everything lined up nice and level. Then it was time to scribe the shape of the side walls. To do that, we used pieces of cardboard that we connected to each other after scribing. Then we placed the cardboard onto the plywood and traced around it. Once we knew that everything fits okay, we cut the piece that will be the door. So we're done for today. We put a coat of varnish. Um, we can see a lot of tiny little dots, which we think that they might be like dust particles. I just wish I hadn't messed around with it yesterday because it's just dragged a job out so unnecessary. We're in a bit of a meh day today. I feel like we've yeah. sort of done a few bits, but not enough to warrant the time we've been here today. We got the water, we got this done, we got the foam the cup. The tap also is installed, but obviously we've removed it to varnish yeah. the worktop again. And hopefully, maybe by next weekend, we'll have some better idea of how we're going to get this foam upholstered. Yeah, over this week we just need to figure out what kind of fabric we're going to use and how we're going to use it. See you next weekend. See you next weekend. And there we have it. Come back next week as we crack on with cupboards and do a few odd jobs. Thank you for watching and following along on our van build journey. Please give us a like and let us know what you think. Bye!